50% of companies are planning layoffs. In Canada, what are they doing? They're talking here about a lot of layoffs. You gotta remember, this comes in cycles. It happens all the time. My poor wife is still stuck in there. Can you believe that? We're in Toronto. This is the uh, COVID isolation center. So I come over just to like tuck her in <laughs> virtually, you know, from the outside. I haven't seen her in seven days. Can you believe that? Anyway, she's feeling a little bit better. I'm so fortunate that I never got anything. Not so far yet, but uh, man alive, beautiful, eh? Look at this. Now there's like a hundred people that live on the marinas around Toronto, but in, um, Scarborough Bluffs, there's another 120 people that actually live here. So, kind of interesting. So, what has happened today, you guys? As we look into the United States, um, they did this survey where 50% of companies are planning layoffs. In Canada, what are they doing? They're talking here about a lot of layoffs. You gotta remember, this comes in cycles. It happens all the time. This is nothing new. If we go back in time to feudal England, what did they have? They had actually lords of the land. That's where we got the name landlords. And then all the peasants back then would have to pay rent back up to the landlord. This has been going on forever, right? But when everyone revolted against um, kings, can't pay them, the new kings today are the big companies. The new kings are BlackRock buying 10,000 units at a time. Uh, they now have um, opened a branch in Toronto to deploy $50 billion. But this is what I think is gonna happen. They're coming in with 50 billion, but when you put down 50 billion, that means you can buy 250 billion, 20% down. So they now can have $250 billion worth of purchases. So they're coming to Canada. They're coming to a place that they know there's massive home shortages, that they know that there is gonna be a lot of immigration coming here. So they're like, we gotta get in on this. So what kind of homes are they buying? Are they buying the $10 million homes? No, nope. they're buying those starter homes. So that's gonna change some things. But for me and you, what does it mean for me and you? For me and you, this is the opportunity that we've been waiting for, for 10 years. So it's scary, but we should be prepared. And it's not that you don't have any more time to prepare. There is time for you to prepare. If you have a big house, like let's say it's a four bedroom and you're right downtown Toronto, or let's say that you have a um, four or five bedroom over Mississauga, it's time for you to sell that house. Home prices will probably be dropping quite a bit more. So the meeting coming up in September, Canada, and most likely they're gonna be raising the rate three quarters of a percent. Some are saying even higher, but let's see what happens. But then there's the uh, Jackson Hole that's happening in the United States. Now, they fear that they're gonna be very hawkish. It's gonna push the economy down even more. This is not a natural cycle economy because we've been on drugs. We've been hopped up on all this free money. And so, here's one thing. <laughs> I was thinking about my brother. My brother has diabetes, and you have a pancreas, right? Here's the thing, your pancreas is struggling and struggling to get by, but as soon as you inject yourself with insulin, your pancreas goes, okay, got it from somewhere else. I don't have to work any more hard. Uh, I can just go and die. So, that, Insulin now is permanently needed for my brother to stay alive. So when we go outward, sorry, there's some bugs. When we actually extrapolate that out, what does that mean? We have been living off of free money. But if you've been living off of free money for all this time, how do you make it without it? And so the best news that we could get as people would be the news you don't want to hear. How many times has a parent said, listen, I don't like to do this. I don't like to, maybe you had to spank a kid or punish them or something. 
and you're like, I know it's for your best interest long term. Maybe it's taking away their iPad, I don't know. But maybe that is for their best interest. For us, we've been living on this monetary heroin for all this time, for 14 years, unnatural. And it has made people filthy rich. But this is where I think people are wrong. They always say that the governments are bananas. They don't know what they're doing. They're absolutely crazy. Are they? Or do they know exactly what they're doing? I think they know exactly what they're doing. This has played over and over and over again for 2,000 years. So, I mean, same old story. What inflation does and how money works. So, I got mad many years ago. And what I did is I actually got some books and started reading about it. Because I want look how pretty this is. I wanted to understand how money works. And how do these people let financial education free them? How do they get so rich off of it? I knew that I was missing parts of the game. That's why we're writing a book. That's why I'm filming courses because I'm trying to condense 20 years of non-stop education into as small of a package as I can. Thing is, is if you understand how the game is played, you could retire. And so I was just talking with a client yesterday. Um, he was from Canada. So we deal with the United States. He called me. We could have him retired within a few months. Get that? Retired. Never work again in a few months. We had another client who was in the United States. Um, took him a bit longer, nine months to retire. So it really, really depends because you just have to figure out how the money works. And I did that by following what did Warren Buffett do? What did Trump do? What do all these rich companies do? What does BlackRock do? How are these people making all this money? Follow their same steps. Nothing that I ever learned, nothing was just me. I've copied successful people. If they've done it, I don't have to reinvent the wheel, right? I just have to do what they're doing. So. That's what I want to encourage all of you guys to do is get your financial education game going because this time that's coming in is going to be scary. The best thing for any government to do right now is say, tough luck, all of you. You've had it too good too long. We're going to cut back on spending on everything, austerity. Everyone's going to lose their jobs and home prices go down and all kinds of stuff. For four or five years and we'll get back to normal. But what politician today would be able to run on that platform. All right, everybody, you're not gonna get anything. Life is gonna be hell. Please vote me in. <laughs> it, would, it would never happen. So during these times, and this is by design, these, these come and go all the time. During these times, a lot of people will lose their homes and a lot of people will be buying a lot of properties. So it will make a lot of people rich and it will hurt a lot of people. So. I want you to be one of those people that tries to learn now because you'll be able to protect yourself from losing money and you could be one of those people that could be worth two times, three times, five times, 10 times more than what you are worth going into this recession. Remember the last time it took like six years from peak to peak. So could this be a six year one? Could it be a one year one? Don't know. But it doesn't matter what the, the numbers are going to be. Hey, that's an iconic picture, eh? It doesn't matter what it's going to be. Because if you just follow the same rules, you would win if it's a one-year recession. If you follow the same rules, you would win on a six-year. It doesn't really matter what it will be. Anyway, I love you guys. Please remember, if you like any of this stuff, please remember to subscribe, like to it, hit that notification bell, and send it to one person that you think that this could help. Appreciate it. Love you guys.